Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lightstain Gamers, and welcome. So it's Monday, and Monday means one thing. We're taking a look at another beautiful ship from the workshop. Now, this may amaze you, but this is another completely vanilla modless design. This is the Fondor Shipyard, created by Retech, and I have to say, it is absolutely stunning. Now, it's rather hard to get a curved design into your shipping space engineers, but when you do pull it off, it does look spectacular. So let's have a look at the back here. You can see we've got these two wing areas that sort of curve out. So this is a shipyard itself, I'm guessing. It's not to really be moved too much, but it can be moved under its own power ever so slowly and slightly. So let's start at the front of the shipyard. Well, I'm hoping this is the front of the shipyard. So if we head over into this area, we have ourselves this overhanging gap that leads to these various different oxygen tanks. Now, this area is quite simple compared to the other side. We've got these ribbed little sections adding a little bit of detail, and we've got multiple entrance points. Now, what's really good, since this is based on a Star Wars type design, we've got each one of these doors all over the ship is designed so it could have some sort of force field generator protecting from ships just going straight inside and destroying everything. Now, we'll dip in and out throughout this design because the interior is honestly quite simple, but it's quite beautiful in its own right. So down here below, since this is a shipyard, it has lots of access to the outside world, so you can get your ships in here, do different sort of maintenance. We've got them rusty-looking hydrogen tanks in various different areas. As we come a little bit further back, you can see we've also got a very exposed reactor, but you can imagine that it's supposed to be protected by these monitors that are supposed to be some sort of force field. So let's tuck ourselves back outside and we'll continue looking along the side of the ship. So coming a little bit further, we've got ourselves a little observation area and just look at the detail in it on this particular section. So this is something I really like, something that you could take from this and apply in your own creativity. So we've actually got ourselves oxygen tanks with a little bit of a vent applied to the top of them there. So it actually looks like it takes or expels gases from this particular area and this larger rounder object is sort of acting like a pipe. So let's go a little bit further up. We'll go back onto the top of the ship itself. So along in these various areas, we've got these homemade turrets. Now, these are actually small ship blocks designed to look like little blaster firing crafts from the Star Wars universe. So you can see each one of these sides rotates up and down. And on the back here, we've got ourselves various blocks. Just add a little bit of detail in in that section. And then we have the cockpit itself. So these can be manned. So if I teleport my character over here, for instance, and pop myself in the back, we might be able to control this bad boy. So there we go, we're into the system itself. We need to activate our remote control block and then we can start moving this around. So let's actually disable and activate our blocks. So eight and nine are allowing us to spin and then we can move that up and down and we can kind of deliver some kind of accurate blast of fire. So let's just fire them rockets. So there we go, we've got some basic rocket fire going out into space. Very nice indeed, I like the idea that you can actually man it yourself. So let's pop out of the turret, and we'll continue on our way. So the turrets are of course lockable, so if you are transporting them, you don't have clang affecting each one of the individual turrets. So if we continue going a little bit further back, I'll disable my hood, we've got ourselves these landing pads at various different points. And then on the centre of the craft, just because this ship is so large, it's, in my opinion very hard to detail large blank spaces but they've done a very good job you can see they've added a little bit of detail by just changing the color of the blocks that's a great way of doing it and by doing that they've added the detail into that section so coming a little bit further back we also have more landing pads and an entrance way through the top giving this a shipyard feel but at the same time you can imagine various different crafts docking in these different areas just to simply transfer supplies and then repair so going down the other side, we've got ourselves the same sort of setup, the doors at the bottom, as well as the various turrets. I just really like the design of them particular turrets in that section. So coming a little bit further back, we also have this little detail in spot I really do like. So this is a mixture of them add-on modules that are doing nothing, but adding a little bit of detail. And then you've got the hydrogen tanks below in this sloped sort of section with the round blocks applied to the lid creating just a bit more detail and giving it that effect that we really do like. And from the distance, you can see he's done that effect in this area once again, using a variety of catwalk blocks, changing the colors, and then adding some slope blocks in there just to create a bit of detail in what would otherwise be a very plain area. So as we're coming up into this rear area, we've got ourselves landing pads once again and another entrance point. And then we come up to what you could 
sort of suppose was a bridge. I imagined it was a bridge at the time. But when you actually look at this, this could just be some sort of uh, communications array, some way of relaying information to the various ships that are going to be sort of transporting or delivering different equipment to this shipyard so this is where it gets a little bit crazy a little bit different we've got these arms that extend out from the actual shipyard itself creating this really nice so you can imagine these could repair or clamp on to larger vessels as they attempt to repair and to stop them from generally drifting off into space if they don't have their own sort of power and you can see as we come a little bit closer we've got ourselves a stairways a bit more detailing and we have ourselves some blast doors here so these blast doors can actually be activated and you can send out your various repair drones sadly in this side there isn't any detail maybe it'll be added in the future so let's pop back up and we'll continue moving around so what really does blow my mind in this is how he's created this curve so at the bottom he's, he's outlined his curve with the actual blocks itself and then he's staggered it in a very minecraft sort of style to create the curve and from a distance it just looks dead smooth it looks absolutely lovely and then we come down the other side, we've got this almost stadium type effect. So you can see it's staggered down into this area, various communications arrays. You could obviously have windows and different things in this area. Just look at these different struts he's put in there. And up close, obviously, you can see the, each and individual ridge. But as we sort of scroll back, you see how it looks even smoother. Now, this area is particularly one of my favorites, as well as that radar up there. But we'll talk about that in a second. So you can see we've got the various little docks for ships on both sides. We've got this lower hangar that you could just imagine ships whipping in and out of, cutting through the center. And we've also got this hangar up here as well, with the variety of different levels of force field and these shiny pads in there. Just look at the detail in here. We've got this lovely round chamber very very nice and detailed indeed so let's go up to that little radar array that Aaron really likes so this is just a really cool detailed part so you can see we've got this dish that circles in and we've got the antenna in there in the center so you can maybe communicate with some other outposts out there just a really nice detail I like at the back of it let's look how they put this sort of dual strut and then they've also put the um, little lat staircase in the center as well and on each side they have these little pylons that i can only imagine are some sort of refueling bay because of the way that this pylon sits out here you can imagine a larger ship coming docking with this refueling rather than having to be docked with the central sort of pads overall a very very beautiful design if we go underneath as well you can see the reverse sort of area for that round section look how it smooths across it's beautiful let me turn the light on and have a little bit of a better look and you can see the detailing underneath there you just not missed an area when it comes to detailing and that's just really important to me when it, it, you involve a design like this anyway let's take this for a quick test drive so we're going into the bridge that is actually completely cut off you can't actually see out of it so if i just spawn into it you can see my character it's inside here and we can take this thing for a little bit of a spin so let's see what acceleration we've got here I'm expecting a really slow sort of acceleration and that's exactly what we've got since we're basically moving a whole shipyard so let's see how fast it stops from five okay you can hear it thrusting away it's trying to slow down all right it doesn't do too badly if you want it to get to from point A to B with it or just reposition it so you can dock a ship a little bit better it's perfectly fine Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and make sure you check the link out to this in the description below. Let me know what you'd like me to feature next week. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you.